start recording. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, let me let me do that. Um I was doing so I would go down and in the settings thing I would do Oh, I think it's remote record start all. Are you serious? It's OBS. It's because of OBS. It's got to be OBS. Dude, I don't know. Mine was weird, too. Okay, did y'all, did the darting? Yeah, 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 that'll, that should fix it. Guys, did it start recording for y'all? Did y'all's record start? Don't, don't cancel it, please. Don't. I know, I know. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let me see. I know, I know, there's a lot. I don't, I'd... Nice. Very weird that that's happening. Yeah, that's very interesting. Hey, hey. Oh, Ash can only hear me at the moment. One second, let me. Why can't, why can't Ash hear y'all? Can y'all hear me? Oh, okay, okay. They, the, the people cannot hear you for some reason. Does the desktop audio not go out to... It is in the audio mixer. Are you quiet or ca just can't hear you? How do I... How do I fix this? Yeah, y'all are in, I see you in desktop audio. Wait, nobody can hear you. Nobody can hear you. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm probably just going to have to set, like, separate out everybody's, uh... Thing. Let's see. Go to Nat. Nat's full screen right now. Have fun with that. And then now Anthony's going to be full screen. Oof. And then now. Oh. Let's see. Nat. Oh, man. I can hear myself. Yeah, oh, my gosh, favorite, dude. I didn't know. Where's Anthony's audio? <laughs> Anthony's okay. Oh, no. But now I can't hear them. Okay, yeah, so I hear Nat on the enough, stream now. Can't, can't hear them. So I have to... But you can't hear us. the site. It has them. God, and listening to the stream... In a, in a delay, like, really messes with your head. <laughs> really fucks with you. Oh, my God. Okay. Anthony, can you can you test your mic for a second? I am testing my mic. Uh, do, re, mi, fa, sa, monotone. Perfect. Perfect. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Stop talking. Uh, Nat, can you test your mic for a second? <laughs> you guys need to start talking to yourself like actual people. You can't talk to people like that. <laughs> Okay, you're good. You're good. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Welcome. Okay. Welcome. Eric, I invited to... you to collaborate. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Tap Haven Podcast. Where everybody. we sometimes Welcome know to the how Tap to stream. Oh man. Oh, Where we are occasionally on time. Guys, we've and been in an the late. lobby for 45 minutes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yep. Look, look, it's it's really difficult when you're when you're streaming from like across the world, guys. Okay. Difficult. Yeah, yeah can we do like a delay test? Um, ping. Ping. Ping pong. Ping. Ping. <laughs> ping. Wow. Ping, 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 uh, ping, 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 ping. If, if we say ping, you have to say pong as, as fast as possible. Okay, okay. okay. Now you, you do it because you're further from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So here it goes. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Ping. Pong. Wow. That's a pretty big delay right that's there. That's a pretty big, <laughs> that's a pretty big gap. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> really? Also, let's do it again, and I'm going to count out loud once you say ping. Okay. Okay. Ping. Pong. One, one thousand. Two, one. One and a half. One and a few milliseconds. Yeah. A few ten, few ten but milliseconds. Maybe even longer for you, because like I hear, you, I should hear you delayed. Oh, that's Because I'm between you guys. Right. Um, no, I'm not gonna do this. This is too we're, much. We're brain. done. All right, so welcome to the Tap Haven podcast. Too much. Mm, 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 mm. It's too much. Mm, mm. No. <laughs> Today we are drinking uh, three separate drinks, <clears throat> which we'll get to. Well, yeah. So, man, yeah, I have two things that I can try here, which will be very interesting to talk about. Um, mm -hmm. I have one thing that I've been waiting to talk about. But, one thing. I'm sorry, bourbon wise. Bourbon wise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys are. You guys probably already know about it. Honestly, it's just that I haven't talked about it on the on the podcast. I see. Yeah. What? It, what is it? I can't. Well, no. We're waiting until we go all around the circles. A Anthony, have you talked about yours before? Guys, you're no. I just discovered it for the first time ever. I'd never seen it before, and I'm super excited. Oh, nice. <laughs> First time ever, Are, you're opening it in front of us and drinking it for the first time ever. Yeah, and with y'all like visiting, I was like, I wasn't, I was standing up there trying to pick something to bring down, and I was like, not gonna pick it. And then my wife was like, why don't you bring that? Like, aren't you interested in trying that? I'm like, yeah, but they're about to be here. Shouldn't I save it for them? And, and then I was, and then I was like, well, I'm actually having that conundrum with literally every single bottle, so <laughs> I oh, just had to pick one. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay, apparently the live <laughs> did not work for YouTube for some reason. Bad YouTube, bad. But whatever. I'm, we're going with Twitch. I'll upload the episode to YouTube on Friday. But I kind of wish it did not work. Rough life. We got this. It's going to be fine. I forgot to check my YouTube. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Be, so who's going to go Who's going to go first since we're already here? We'll I go ahead and talk about life as we go. I'll, I have so many interesting things to talk about, obviously, uh -huh, so, uh -huh, that are uh -huh. just crazy. <laughs> Lots of crazy. And my week has been uh, very interesting. So I would say, like, y'all go first. I'll, I'll finale us okay. off. Okay. Okay. Oh, you going to so, finish us off, Eric? Yeah, that's right. I will. You going to? You gonna finish this off? A hundred percent. It's a good time. No, we'll say it. <laughs> yes, my wife will wake up and give me give me looks. But yes, I will finish. I will finish you off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Okay. 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 Go, um, Anthony. You want to go first or, or me? I shall start talking until I can't talk no more because of mm. my cough. Okay. We're are, we're just going bourbon, right? Or are we we're just doing about, bourbon and then uh, like yeah, also talking yeah. about how your how your last two weeks have been. So I found Bullet Single Malt today, Ooh. and I think this is brand new. It's made in a recycled glass. Is it, Even the cork ooh. looks different. Okay. Here's, a, here's the normal bullet for scale. They're the same size, obviously. Oh, wow. <laughs> then why'd you say for scale? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the bit. That's the bit. <laughs> See? Got him. 
<laughs> Got him. I hate being the straight man here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, I'm married. What are you talking about? Eric's double married. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, dude, yeah. So honestly, the most exciting thing, like podcast, kind of related, because we're occasionally talking about gaming. For me, like story wise, is uh. One of my favorite streamers of all time, Hippo TC, finally played Star Citizen, and now he is all in. He has upgraded his PC. He has bought joysticks. He is apologizing. He is apologizing because of how much he has memed on Star Citizen, like everybody else out there. <laughs> He's like, I was wrong. I had no idea. He's constantly saying things like, this is the game that me and my brother always wanted to play since we were little kids. You know, he's saying things like, I'm tired of playing games where the developers never take any chances. They don't try to do anything new and interesting, exciting, because that's what's happened in Star Citizen. And it's not, there's not been a better time for him to try it because of how buggy Sea of Thieves is. And that's his main game. And so now he just wants to start his piracy empire in Star Citizen. And it's like amazing. Like he's, he's drinking the Hopian. He's star stricken. Like he's all in. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah. I think if you're into that style of game, like <laughs> you are pretty much a hundred percent into Star Citizen because you want it to succeed more so than how you feel about it currently because like if you're into mm -hmm. that style of game it is just it succeeding is a, a, an mm -hmm. amazing thing for the gaming industry as well 100 percent. it if it yeah and that's what you keep saying you keep saying like i want to do anything and everything i can to make this game like to help this game come Re <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> yes. come to fruition apparently we um, started this episode being children but we'll get there guys I whatever I Eric. <laughs> you knew who i was <laughs> anyways yeah but the uh <clears throat> it is like star citizen it, their ultimate goal is like everything you'd want sea of thieves to be that sea of thieves will never become for pirate king there you go. Yeah. Okay. But that's, uh that's facts. The other thing is that I found a game thanks to my nephew who's like 6 years old that oh. I am so shocked that I didn't know existed. His dad is also shocked that he didn't know existed. And we found out thanks to another kid that goes to school with our with my nephew. It's called Wreckfest. Wreckfest. <laughs> It is a racing game all around, oh God, what do you call it? Uh, when people take cars and they just drive them into each other and <laughs> crash each other until they can't drive anymore. It's like a, a a derby of sorts. It's like a, I can't remember what they're called, but like there's all these funny different game modes. Like there's actual races where like, you know, you're racing, but you can also just try to take out the other drivers and disable them uh, huh. so that they don't finish and they can't beat you there's a silly game mode where you're like driving a freaking couch there's a game mode where you're driving tractors and apparently some of this stuff is real like this is what Wreck people Fest. really do oh, how do you spell that w-r-e-c-k okay -E -S -T. and it's it's on sale right now it's free on game pass for like well game pass okay. uh, <laughs> yeah i was about to say isn't just that fun. just the how game pass works <laughs> I was going to say for Xbox, but then I was like, oh, no, it's on PC, duh. He, uh, has, he does things with his brain every now and then. Come on now. I, I am that's sick. Fair. I am sick. No, that's He's fair. not feeling good. Um, but yeah, that's like all of my, I think, Whiskey life podcast. updates. That's, what podcast. Your, that's your update? Is that your, did you just do your <laughs> game and your whiskey at the same time? I thought that's what y'all wanted me to do, man. No, I didn't. You just wanted to do your whiskey and then tell us what happened for the past two weeks. You didn't have to do your video game yet. Oh, shit. Well, we'll get we'll 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 have a rerun later on. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. That's fine. I guess we'll have I Star guess. Citizen <laughs> returns. <clears throat> Life stuff. I finally uh, I finally drove to 
my hometown again to visit the family for Thanksgiving. Oh, very and, nice. And, uh, you know, it's really not that far, uh, but it feels so far when you drive through Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're driving through Atlanta. It's so bad. Okay, this is like the that... perfect segue, though, because I'm going to yeah. show you all videos. Traffic right is... Now? Oh, yeah. Quite... I... I Look, I'm going to be real. <laughs> I don't think that over a video like this call, I could properly express what traffic in India is like. <laughs> that makes sense. It's probably not possible. And essentially what I want to picture, want you to picture, is every single car that you've seen in your life, like every single one. So like you saw one 10 days ago at a mall, count those cars. Then count okay. the cars you saw yesterday while you were driving to work. Now count the car you're looking at right now while listening to this podcast. Put all of them in your life together and picture them all trying to get to work on the road that you're on at the same time, but not following any of the traffic laws <laughs> and if they try to go, they will go. And you have Mumbai traffic. Like, that's that's what it is. Um, it is I'm not surprised. It is Dude. so... They, they don't follow lines. They don't follow lights, by the way. Lines, if the, if the, they, yeah. Well, some places they do, but they might as well not have them there. Like, I... Like the most hysteric, like comical part to me was the fact that in some areas they tried to draw lines and were like, please follow them. <laughs> Nobody follows them. That, like you can't even say that they're guidelines at this point. Like they're, they're not. Um, Dude. I'm I, sorry. So they, they, at that. lights, at lights. They just, if it's a red light, that's just like, maybe they'll stop. They, they honestly just that's push through. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's. Dude, last year we were talking about like Tesla at, at like Christmas. We were talking about Tesla trying to solve full self driving. And my father in law was like, they can't. They will never, <laughs> ever. Because he'd been, he, he worked in India. Yeah. He was like, they will never be able to solve it because of India. And then he turned on some YouTube videos of like, 40 minutes of like India Mumbai traffic, traffic. Mumbai traffic. <laughs> and we just went on a rabbit yeah. hole. We left that on for like two hours in the background. We're all just like staring it's still at happening? it. Like, dude, whoa. I'm so it's, sorry, Eric. It's, it's so insane. Right. It's your so, reality. And the craziest part is, the craziest part is, <clears throat> so my dad's here with me. My dad's like, I don't oh. understand how there aren't scratched cars. It's like, they don't get into accidents either. Like this, they just make it work. It's weird as all Dude, get it's, out. It's 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 their it's a dance, Eric. You have to think of it like it's not oh. an A to B. It's yeah. not an A to B because if you were going A to B, then you wouldn't be paying attention to oh, where you are currently. Here's here's the perfect epitome of this situation that we're in. So we were driving in mm. with my wife's dad. And he was driving straight in a road, bunch of traffic. A biker on the side cuts in front of every car, doesn't look at any of them, and just puts his hand back. <laughs> 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 like, like this, 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 this it's, just, it's just wild. Eric's just having wild. a hard time, guys. So, <laughs> so funnily enough, like... It probably, it doesn't really bother me that much. Like, I'm sitting in the car and I'm more just like, how do they, how did they not try to solve this? And I understand, I think the biggest thing is I understand because the amount of people that are here is just on another level. So if you want to enforce traffic laws, you need, like, there, there are some, there's some research out there that I've glanced at before that talks about control systems and how many things you need to control a set of other things. 
And there's some percentage you need to reach. Like if you want to control 100 people, you need like 10 people kind of managing that crowd, right? There's some number that you need to be able to do it. It is not physically possible to have enough police officers or traffic control people to manage the number to of people that there Mumbai are traffic. in yeah. Dude. Mumbai. Dude, this is what Ash and I were talking about while we were driving through Atlanta. I was like, I'm sure most people would not vote in America for having automated, you know, speed traps because they don't want that all over the freaking world. But I bet you could get people to vote for it for like the city. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, and yeah. then solve the problem of people going insane in the city. Mm -hmm. Or in, at least in like uh, <clears throat> residential areas close to the city, like suburbia, yeah. like pre suburbia. Like on yeah. that little that gray area, I feel like those are the areas that get hit the hardest with crazy traffic mm -hmm. for for like no reason. Like you have these like really narrow roads with people driving like actual assholes. So yeah, so. dude, they, they're and I think they might be popping up because a few times my Apple GPS told me like you trust uh, Apple GPS because they don't sell my data, man. Oh, that's true. I don't want Google telling everyone where I'm at all the time anymore. Hey, that so, is a fair point, but Apple Maps every single time does something crazy for me. Does and me dirty, dude. It's just in it. Here's the thing. I've, I've I a hundred and here's the thing. I a hundred percent concede that it's likely just a luck based thing. It doesn't happen that often. Mm -hmm. It just happened to happen when I tried to use it the so, first few dude, times, but like it was rough. One of the one of the best things that got me to stick to apple was when i'm driving and it goes turn uh go through this light and turn right at the next light or something like that and i'm like oh my god like how many times have i been told turn right at the light and i'm like wait is it this, this light, or, light, that light? or the next light yeah also yeah. i switched siri to be this british woman and it is so great like she's like <laughs> Uh, continue straight on for 146 Bloody miles. Wanker, you better turn left. Straight on. <laughs> you, yes. you did it wrong, mate. <laughs> it's so great. She's, her accent and everything, and she just everything's different. She doesn't just say the English you need, things. You need to ask it to be a orc from Warhammer 40k. That would and be that, cool. that oh would gosh. truly be the best experience, I think. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. Oh, you use the big boss. <laughs> Oh my God. You think you could just run that red light? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude, some, there's a few times that Apple told me uh, there's a speed oh. camera ahead. Like literally oh, an really? automated, not not a red light camera, a speed camera. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. So they're this coming. Is, based, is this based on true actual fact? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dude, Anthony, what did you no, do for the last two weeks, dog? No, I he saw, already... I saw, he, I, Oh, never no, mind. but wait. That's all you did? No, but wait. Yeah, no, wait, you, did, you did technically <laughs> take it out of me, out of my hands. Dude, I saw a double roundabout. My hometown oh. now has a double oh, roundabout. You have yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. I've, it's nuts. I've been there a few <laughs> it's times. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Double roundabout, and they're double, double wide roundabouts. Yeah. Double, just, double wides. Yeah, oh, not just singles. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they're going okay. crazy with the roundabouts back there. They really are. It's supposed to be good for traffic, right? It depends, but yes, generally, Eric's yes. Like, uh, it, I've well, seen a few here, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> generally, yeah, no, yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> Given a certain number of people, it just doesn't matter anymore. It's like, that's fair. No, that's. Like, yeah. But I would say generally, yeah, yeah, it works really well. In le but here's the problem: the 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 longer it's there, the better people in the area will get at using it. But it doesn't do well yeah. in areas where there is constantly new traffic in that area. So roundabouts mm. work really well in local areas where people are going to experience that roundabout so, a like lot. Next to the airport. Next, mm -hmm. very <clears throat> yes. Next to airports, mm -hmm. in cities, in near Malls. like we have a few roundabouts around 285, and 285 had just constantly has traffic, and now they've started adding some roundabouts at some of the exits across 285 and those roundabouts don't do well at all they constantly cause mm -hmm. backed up traffic that go all the way back onto the interstate and the reason wow. being is that people don't know 
people don't know how to make that efficient or don't care to make it efficient because they're like, no, I'm just going to force mm -hmm. my way onto this ramp. And the minute that starts yeah. happening, it's bad. Hmm. Yeah, dude, just to wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, the past two weeks have been kind of a blur for me because it's been non... Like, I've never printed more things out of our 3D printer in my entire life. Sick. Um, just printed gifts for, like, all nine or ten, like, family slash extended family members, you know? Nice. And, like you go and you make something for someone you're like that one was kind of easy and like i'm not so sure that this is like balanced out i think we need to make another thing for this guy for this mm. kid you know and so then you're like going mm. all over the place it was like it was a lot oh man um but yeah i'm, that, I'm yeah, that's fighting it. the urge so like <clears throat> i'm in two secret santas and then i'm also buying presents for my wife so like i looked at the I looked at the Black Friday sale for the um, oh my god, what was it called? The one that you suggested, the uh, Bamboo P One S. Yeah, the Bamboo, and I was like, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. And then I looked at my pick and cut today. And I was like, oh yeah, I definitely can't do oh this. Gosh. You can always get the mini or the A One. No, I'm not doing like. I, I, <clears throat> okay, one thing that I learned from playing guitar. And like getting into music, mm -hmm. you don't do the freaking entry models. Stop doing the entry well, models. Okay, you're but, just you're but the just thing stop is, gapping yourself. The bamboo P one S, the one I have yeah. with the enclosure. Mm -hmm. Well, the P one P is the same thing without the enclosure, and you can upgrade to the enclosure or print your own. You can print your own enclosure. I get that, Anthony. Obviously, you'd probably buy glass. I but. get that, Anthony. <clears throat> I'm going to pass. <laughs> I appreciate you trying to look out for me, though. I really do. Oh, my God. Well, I'm glad that you had a good old two-week little gap. What did you guys do for Thanksgiving? So my family down in Georgia is a little uh, – their Thanksgiving is always a little different because they serve Thanksgiving dinner at the restaurant. So you all have a restaurant? Yeah. My dad and my mom, yeah, they uh, – very recently say, yeah, paid off like the <laughs> well so the funny thing was like my dad was trying to find a place to start his restaurant right a location mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the realtor was like liked him and he was like hey look i bought this restaurant and i don't know anything about restaurants and it's not working out what if i sold it to you and so then my dad went to the bank and got a huge business loan took it over spent like 10 years or so maybe 15 paying off that loan and mm -hmm. very recently now he is like you know an an owner and owner it's almost like you know oh yeah i own this house do you though you own the mortgage on, the, own house. The, mortgage yeah. on the house right yeah. so like i think now he actually finally owns the restaurant which is like huge really really great for him yeah uh but of course like they can't find anyone to work so it's really hard um like my sister served she's working there while she goes to school she served 90 people one night um all by herself because there are other servers that are great but they're they get a little overwhelmed sometimes i think yeah, because well, I mean that's good that they're having mm -hmm. ninety heads come through a night, but that at the same time that's that's crushing for a single person. Yeah, yeah, and there's just people down there don't want to work anymore. I think there's a lot of people that are still they learned in COVID times that they could survive off of unemployment and just lie that they're looking for a job but can't find it. Wow, mm. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. We have a very close friend that's doing that, actually. Oh, my God. Oh, Love you, buddy. Love you, buddy. <laughs> the... Wish I could be you playing games all day. Oh, man. <laughs> Would be pretty sick. Yeah. Maybe my... he's not doing that anymore. I don't actually know. Um, but that yeah. was it. Y'all hung out, did did the dinner thing. Yeah, we do our, we do our Thanksgiving dinner on Friday uh, instead of Thursday because of that. So, I mean, we eat, like, normal Thanksgiving stuff at the restaurant. And then we also cheat and bring a bunch of stuff from the restaurant home. But, like, my mom still made a turkey. I cut okay. the turkey because I learned how to from Gordon Ramsay. Uh, nice. That legend. That's the best way. 
Yeah. Absolute yeah. legend. Yeah. Had some cranberry sauce because that's cranberry sauce in a can is my requirement for Thanksgiving. That's oh, it. it's the oh, best. Yeah. It's a, it's absolutely a required. If it's not from a can, I'm disappointed. Yeah. It has to be that mm. specific brand, I think, too. Uh, yeah. I like it's that good. the one brand. I don't know what it is, but there's one. There's one. I'll die by this. It's all, uh, you know what the icon looks like. Yes. You know. You what go it to the store. Like, yeah. You get that, and it's it's so it is a southern delicacy. You live Steak. in the South. You have one style of cranberry for, <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Now, I I totally misunderstood my mom ahead of time. I thought that she was saying this year we're just gonna do something else on Friday. Like we're not gonna do Thanksgiving dinner because we're gonna do Thanksgiving dinner at the restaurant on Thursday. Yeah. I was like, okay. And she's like, is there anything that you would want? Like, do you want like Italian food or like some seafood? And I was like, you know, I, I would really like I could really do some lasagna. Like I haven't done lasagna in so long, and you mm. make the best lasagna. Yeah. I didn't know she was saying we're gonna make some Thanksgiving stuff and some other things <laughs> like on so top you had of it. <laughs> a ton of food so you, you had, had lasagna some turkey some prime ribs yeah, some nice. ham nice. <laughs> oh my god the prime rib was from the restaurant so you <laughs> rolled your you rolled yourself out of that restaurant jesus uh, yeah. yeah it was nuts That's That's meat crazy. Sweats. yeah nice. it was good stuff though cool yeah. man on that what are, you, what are you drinking oh hold on i need to know what his okay, bourbon tastes okay. like my bourbon's pretty really sharp. Really sharp? What is its tasting notes? Do you know? Mm. Lots of pepper. Okay. Lot a lot of pepper. The the malt's definitely there. I taste the malt. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's not um it's not I don't think it's too advanced. I need you I want you guys to taste it and tell me this. New well, Year's. We'll, well, we'll just have to figure it out on what New y'all Year's. think. Since I'm all, y'all know I'm not the best at this, but like, I like it. The smell is um, I don't think there's much there really. But like, I don't know. I think Bullet is the the whiskey that you know. You'll never have Mark drink a Bullet and say, and that's how I know you're gay right he'll <laughs> yeah, that's he'll fair. drink a bullet and be like yeah it's a, a it's a whiskey <laughs> a bullet is through and through a whiskey's whiskey for sure. interesting yeah and so it has that base layer of oh, i'm a whiskey i'm not fancy i'm not disappointing i'm a whiskey i'm a whiskey okay like, i'm a cowboy i'm a goddamn cowboy okay uh <laughs> rating rating um Definitely like a four or five out of ten. Four or five out of ten. Okay. I think so. Yeah, that's I, fair. I, guys, okay. I'll point out. What does it say on my hat? Bullet. He's a bullet man. And this yeah. is, I don't know if you'll ever notice, but this is also a bullet, bullet shirt. The, he may have been on brand today, guys. Yeah. He <laughs> may be a little. To be he fair. He may have showed up. He will, you'll get to have it probably, Nat, unless you I'll be the new poster all. child. Well, you Let's also go. have one of the rarest bullet products in existence. That the, I'm just going to blow that up. That's going to be the thumbnail, by the way. I, I just gave Eric so much <laughs> thumbnail gold 100%. for like the next like 10 episodes. I hate it. <laughs> he's going to hate it. He's going to freeze frame so many of those. <laughs> we have a, we have a drink with Whiskey Pete. AKA I'm going to make I'm going to make one of those fractals and it's just Anthony all the way down. I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. Oh Isn't it every day, my guy? Oh, dude. Uh -huh. The last thing, though, I want to mention yeah. is, guess, watch this. You see this? Right there, pain. It. I have lifted up my elbow as high as I can. This is where pain starts. Oh, man. Your elbow this, hurts. No, no, no. It's this muscle uh... here from doing, from doing lying down he, 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 tricep extensions with your, head, with your yeah, yeah. elbows backwards a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a week. Yeah, y'all have you, to do this workout you when you're here. If you yeah, haven't down. done it before, so I'm get, I'm guessing you're laying down. Your hands are here, and you're mm -hmm. holding the dumbbell in your hands like this. No, but one in each hand. One in each hand, and then and yeah, you, and you're going like this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing was, I did something I've never done before called triple X sets. You do a you pick a three to five rep max dumbbell. 
and you do three reps. So you start a timer, you do three reps. You sit up. Once the timer hits 30, you go back down, three reps. 60, go back down, do three reps. So every 30 seconds, you go back down and do three reps. You do that until you can't do at least two. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to check out with my, my, my trainer for that Dude, before I it, do anything. It, it <laughs> wrecks them. Yeah, I can imagine. I bet. I did you're the same doing, thing with my chest, but like... You're pretty much doing one set. Well, you're doing you're doing three set yeah, maxes. You're doing for, imam periods, uh, for, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Which it was not a good so, time, my guy. Not guys, a good time. It was so painful. Like two or three days later, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> yeah. I would Dude, try to move my arm and it was just uncomfortable. <laughs> if your body's not <laughs> used to that kind of like load, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be in a lot of pain. Yeah. Like yeah. it's there's a no pain, what no is gain. It? There was um, the Ultimate Loser or something like that. Those those shows, whenever like oh people who God. are severely overweight jump mm -hmm. from going zero to like a thousand, a thousand. miles per hour, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, of course you're in like chronic pain. Your body has never done this load of like activity ever. Yeah, it's just yeah. so yeah. much. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I think I also have like so I have this old it shoulder issue. Well, I think the this last time that I went and did the triple X sets, that yeah. shoulder issue has been so has had so much time to get stronger and heal mm -hmm. that it didn't stop me mm -hmm. from doing more. That's, I think usually the shoulder good, would be like stop yeah, doing. Yeah, that's this. really good for sure. Oh. Yeah, because yeah, if you, you're Anthony? just feeling muscle pain right now, muscle pain gets better. Yeah. You'll yeah, like yeah. that'll go away yeah. and get stronger. Yeah. So that's what that's you That's when you want. have something that's chronic. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like, that's within the ligaments or like any yeah. of the joint yeah. pain. It's, like that's, it's, that's it's when crazy you because be it's not even much of the, it's not much of the elbow. Or no. sorry, it's not much of the tricep because it's a tricep extension. It's the thing that was preventing the arm from like falling all the way back. It's your tricep. Yeah. Sorry, it's your lat. It's yeah. the it's flexibility like, yeah, of your lat it's like, as well. It's like here. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I think it is so the lat, it's, like it's, you said. It's so your lat isn't, it doesn't necessarily like, it's not necessarily used for the extension of your arm, but mm -hmm. when it comes to anything that's above your head, yeah, your lat's going to either impede or allow the amount of uh, um, mobility you have behind your head. Like even I, like right now, I know my lat's pretty tight because my elbow flares out as I come back and I should be able to just come straight back. Yeah. At least a little bit further. I can't wait to work out with you guys. I want to learn some more. Yeah, let's go. You don't want this weight there, but okay, okay. Lightning round. I know, Eric. I know you got a lot to go because you've oh. you've done a lot, my friend. Cheers. Mm. Happy marriage wedding thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'll send, <laughs> congratulations. I'll send I'll send pictures for y'all. Uh, for sure, because oh, we so we already got the the photos. So we had the um event. And it went until like one, you know, one, two, three a.m. or whatever. By the time we woke up, the photographer had already done all the photos. Dang, that's a turnaround. Yeah, I remember hung. So, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> like edited and yeah, ready yeah, to yeah. go. You it's, like to it's, share? Okay, now it's just different here. Like life is different. Like. Okay, let me let me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nat, hey. you need you need Nat. <laughs> you know that wedding that Eric was in that he like he was his wedding and everything. Ashley, are you there? His his pictures for the wedding were done the night after. No, 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 morning after. Like literally, like they morning were after. Shot and the editing was done and they were ready to be shared. The day after. You guys know Hung. It took him yeah. like three years to get our wedding picture. <laughs> oh I don't know. God. About to, we're gonna find out. Oh god. Three years. So so now okay. let me let me just explain some of the concepts here because it's very different. Yeah. Life is very different in India. So middle people who are in middle class in America, if you were to live in India with the same pay pay role. You'd be like upper class. You're not cleaning. You're not doing dishes. Oh. You're not doing your own okay. laundry. You're not driving yourself around. You're gonna have a personal driver who's just waiting for you to call. Okay. Right. You're like it's that's just a thing. Labor here 
is so cheap and so available that mm. when people are doing these jobs, like that is the job they're doing and it will, they will literally just keep working on it. Right. That's... You want a tailored suit. They're going to, we, I had a fully tailored suit in less than an, oh, a week. A bespoke. Yeah. So you're saying mm. that the lady we went to in Atlanta, she's not like. She's not that level of of she, affordable and readily. She's not authentic. Available. Well, she doesn't deal with that style of clothing every single day, <laughs> and she didn't design the clothing. So, like, it's much easier oh, yeah. for a tailor that designed and teasing. made I this know. suit i know i know but it, just to kind of like give some color <laughs> like because they made the suit by the way i got a, another suit from the same guys who did y'all suits um hmm. so it was them again did you tell him that did you show him your forearms did you did you flex for him so i he know. knows that they're real yes that they exist so, ridiculous funnily enough we did have to get some alterations done because they for your they, forearms they, funnily no, enough eric they they took the funnily wrong funnily enough they took the wrong <laughs> calf me measurement so they took my mm -hmm. smaller calf and then my my other calf was too big my for the tailored smaller suit. calf eric <laughs> yes eric these are words that are not spoken <laughs> amongst Amongst other, uh, I guess, uh, custom suit uh, makers. I you guess. must be really flexible because usually guys just have a really big right arm, not a really big right calf. My left calf just... is like three inches wider in uh, <laughs> circumference. He's got a girthy leg, man. Yeah. You know what it is? What can you, you say? Know what it is? That's where the, that's the leg the steroids went to. That maybe. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mm, mm. are you dominant are you like, left foot or right foot dominant? no it's because i injured my right knee for like multiple times over the course of a few years so it i compensated a lot with my left leg during that uh, time so it just got a little bigger over time and now i'm heard. i've done like pt and stuff like that to help minimize the difference but the size of the calf uh, apparently is a very long process so it'll probably take a few few more years before it starts to really even you see out. anything come down yeah. gotcha. you just go get some of them steroids man and just put them right just in balance out the other leg yeah. it'll be fine you just you do just, localized you, you just you cut you off just, the circulation from the rest of the body you put it right into that calf the <laughs> <laughs> but but, <laughs> but yeah so not just to kind of explain the differences a little bit more, the, <laughs> the labor here is different. So literally when they were done taking pictures, they went home and just stayed up that night and edited everything. Forever. Yeah. Wow. Because they got the job. Were they and good? Damn. Was the yeah, yeah, good? yeah. I'll, I'll send you the pictures. The photos really turned out really, we're stoked. really well. So stoked. Mm. Oh, they did a really okay. good job. But um, you also have to remember, like, different... So, for example, if you buy a photographer in America, you're paying for, like, one person, and maybe they have an assistant, right? Mm -hmm. Here, we paid one twentieth the cost of our photographer, and they had a team of, like, 30 people. Jesus. Because, remember... Labor's cheap. So they just literally yeah. were like hiring pennies on a dime. This one photographer has like 16 people helping him at all times. So they had so many cameras and photos just ready and to go. And what's the profession? Like how, what's the level of pro of like actual skill at that at that point? So there's like one or two guys a, a part of the team that are taking like the emasculate photos. The rest of them, uh -huh. it's yeah, yeah. it's like, hey, if we shoot enough of these things, Quality. we're going to yeah. get good ones at You're some gonna get point. Something. Yeah. Got you. Okay. So you have two and guys the, doing the two, all the really nice photos. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Immaculate. Yeah. Yes. You, you said, said immaculate. I, I, I thought he I legitimately know. meant like Anthony, pictures yeah, of yeah, the like and of the ladies just, and stuff. And I was so lo I was like, huh. <laughs> it's late for him. He's drinking bourbon. It's fine. It's early. Totally it's fine. early was, for me. 
I think uh, the sun's oh. coming up behind him. Yeah, Shit. the sun will be coming up right here. I think that was the that was a, I was actually going to move all my stuff outside so I didn't bother my wife who's still asleep. Oh, speaking of your wife, y'all, Fantastic. I'll have you know that Eric's wife wished our friend group a happy Thanksgiving. So nice of her at like nine o'clock at night. Well, guess what? I said no. Cause I know it's Friday for you. It You're was. lying. Yeah, yeah. we can't leave do that. that. Woman alone, Anthony. You leave that woman alone. <laughs> yeah, we you are. Put that away. We I are didn't, ten didn't and a half hours chat, ahead. I'm saying it now. <laughs> yeah, ten, ten and, and a half. half hours. Oh my god, it's the half hour. The yep. half hour. We're ten and a half Not hours the other ahead side of the world, but pretty dang close. Additionally, all of India, which by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, India, you might not expect this, but India, like corner like east to west is essentially over half of the u.s right north to south it's even yeah. longer than the u.s but there are no time zones in india they all do the same time zone mm. good god so incredible essentially incredible. half of the country on the west coast and half of the country on the east coast they have entirely different experiences of what a day is dude and <laughs> And you're only two and a half hours behind Tony. Yeah, he's very far from you still. Yeah, bro. Right? Uh, it's bro. an eight-hour flight from Mumbai to Tokyo. That's substantial. That's like flying from here to like Germany or something. There, to, funnily <laughs> enough, it's Atlanta London. to London. Yeah, is eight yeah, hours. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Because because we did that flying here, we flew to London and then we flew from London to Mumbai. How was flying? Man, it was long. It was long. <laughs> it's for just us, for our listeners. Eric does not like to fly. Yeah, I'm not a Continue. I'm not a big flyer. Me neither. Like it's I love just. To fly. Oh my god. And here's the thing, I am dangerously knowledgeable about flights because my parents were ATC, so like. And in one of my air parents, traffic controllers. yeah, mm-hmm. air traffic controllers, mm-hmm. one of my parents had his flying license and flew for years um, for both the Air Force and as like a private pilot. So like and our manager slash. Yeah, our VP, he flies. Yeah. And my biggest and he's problem been skydiving forever. Yeah. My biggest problem is just the, the knowledge of it. I hate lack of information or lack of being able to like have some understanding of what's going on and so commercial flights are just terrible for me i'd rather fly private if I could. yes and no yeah i yes just want to no. know but yeah it's just a <laughs> a miserable experience and then to have to do that for i mean our travel time like full travel time from getting to leaving our house to getting to her parents' house was over 28 hours. Yeah. Yeah. 27 hours. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that, that cross, that, what is Sorry, it? In airtime? No. No. No, no, no. Travel. No, no. Moving travel. A to B. Travel. travel. Time. Okay. Yeah. A to B. Airtime yeah. was only uh, 18 hours going there but of course going back guess what 20 percent longer so we're going to be in Mm airtime going back will actually be around 21 hours eric going man i don't know what it is about the i feel like the airplanes that go back to america are just different i don't feel like they're the same airplanes because when you're going back you're just always like why does this suck so much more than it was oh, when I well, was going Well, there. you have to remember, it's... well, for Japan, this is actually different because Japan, you actually have a faster flight back than you do getting there. Oh, but it sucks, Eric. It's 20% it's still... faster. I mean, I agree. I understand it's 20% faster. I'm telling you right now. You, you'll, you know what? I'm not telling you. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just show you when you go to Japan. When you come yeah. back, you'll be like, why did yeah. that suck? <laughs> Uh, anyway continue but okay so also somebody said something to me the other day and it it like kind of broke my brain but physics wise i i understand it to some degree but it just it's wild to me they were like oh 
why don't you fly to India in the other direction? Why don't you fly Atlanta past California to India? Because if you do that, the Earth is rotating towards you. So India should be getting closer to you at the same time that you're getting closer to That's it. That's not how that works. Funnily enough, it does actually do that to some degree. But the Coriolis effect uh, of rotating with the Earth and gravity and the wind both come together to counteract the amount that India is moving towards you. And so what, yeah, having the wind at your back... the wind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So having the wind the, the, at the your back... The air is moving is with the earth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Air is the earth moving, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, oh my God, if air stood still while the earth rotated, we'd all be dead. <laughs> like, the wind speeds would be insane. It'd be like 200 miles per hour or something like that, right? Like, oh, way faster. Dude, no, no, no. The, the earth you... spins way faster than that. No, I understand that. Earth's I was like, wondering Henry. how that would translate to wind, like what it to feels wind like. speed. True. The earth. <laughs> Spins one thousand miles per hour. Miles yeah. Per hour. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so that's like a. So if you're thinking about it, if we have what like on average like two to three <laughs> mile per hour winds, just like daily, what kind of hurricane would would spin it up would from insane. like a from a daily time from my <laughs> average time of a thousand yeah. miles per hour? Dude, yeah, I just like, I just chuckled like a little girl because. Just, just freaking ripping mountain out from, <laughs> from yeah. Who, whoever told you that India is coming towards you, you should go back to them and say, well, why don't you just like jump a lot and then you'll get there real fast because the earth will move underneath you every time you jump. <laughs> Shut up, Anthony. Well, so there, <laughs> there, there man alone. well, the, so their argument was that the higher you go up into the air, the less that affects you. Right. So mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The if you're at thirty nine thousand feet, the Coriolis effect should be less, and it is. It is by should a significant yeah. margin, actually, like forty to sixty percent. It just happens to not be enough to counteract to the wind the being wind. at your back, right? Yeah. So yeah. the wind at your back just ends up being more than the difference that it's moving towards you which is but how does the wind move against the direction of the earth moving it doesn't it moves with the the spin right it does move with the spin no not if the wind was at your back i thought the wind was at your back making you faster to go against the spin so the wind but does wind yeah. generally goes from west to east. Mhm. Mm Is that the way the earth spins? Like the same The earth spins from east to west. So it's the shear from it spinning. Hmm. We're Through about matter. to break our brains. So, uh, what else happened? Atmosphere. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so, ton of ton of other stuff. Holy we visited shit. a bunch of different things. We, of course, did our did our reception thing. So, me and my wife did our reception thing, which was super. Wow, super you're fun. just gonna brush over your reception? No, no, no. Did no, you no, have no, a receptionist? No. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> God. <laughs> but God. we um. <laughs> And now, of course, we are traveling India and visiting some other places. So we just got to Goa, and that's going to be really cool. Which leads me to the two, uh, two alcohols that I have to try. One of them two is alcohols. a very famous single malt whiskey, Indian single malt whiskey from Emroot, called the Fusion and I have a little Ooh, taster bottle of it, bottle. which was good. Yeah, because I, I actually am going to buy like a bunch of these bottles to bring back anyways. Um, oh, that's cute. Because a lot of people really like this whiskey, so I think it'll be a good gift for some people. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, mm -hmm. he forgot, and so he just grabbed that out of the mini bar in the hotel room. Shut up. I did not. I did not. Because <laughs> the thing was, I knew I was going to open whatever alcohol that I did here, so I knew... I couldn't bring it back. Oh, you can't take it back. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I knew that mm -hmm. for this podcast, 
a small taster bottle like this would be perfect. But there is Sorry. another bottle Smart. that I got. Goa is <clears throat> known for a very specific alcohol, which is very unique to Goa. And that is called Finney. They take uh, coconuts or cashew apples. They mm -hmm. de-seed them, drop them into a giant pit, stomp them down, similar to wine. They make this Finney wine with it, and then they distill it into an alcohol, and they call it Finney. It's a very popular local wine in Goa, and I happen to have a bottle which we're that's cool. We are going to try now. I'm going to bring back some of this as well, so everybody can try it. These are fairly okay. affordable. We are going to be partying so, with that bottle. Yes, <laughs> this is the bottle that for everybody to try, and then I'm going to buy buy some other ones. Also, I don't know if this brand is good. The guy at the store said this was the best brand, but eh, you know, I don't know. So uh, I'm going to do some more research and talk to some people because uh, we have a very interesting thing that we're going to go do. Uh, on Wednesday. Now, mm. I know nothing about Finney except for what I told you and that it's a local distillery. But I've been drinking the Amherst Fusion, um, and that is a single malt whiskey. It tastes like a single malt whiskey. It's kind of got this honey, golden type of honey flavor to it with a little okay. bit of heatiness, smokiness to it. This but is not the Amherst that you're about to drink. This is the Amrut right here. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I was like, are you talking about the Amrut while about to drink the Finney? Like, just trying to hype yourself up. Be like, no. oh yeah, it's got to be good. This is the Amrut. <laughs> the Amrut is, Fusion is just a very solid whiskey. It's mm -hmm. probably a 3.5. I would totally, I, I don't think i daily drink it, but it's very good. Um, it's got a bready note on the end, mm. almost like a sourdough type of note. Would you akin it to a Irish whiskey? No, no. It's not. Okay. It doesn't so have that baking meal. flavor, meal okay. flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more okay. of like a little bit of sourness on the end. So like a sourdough. Interesting. Yeah. But honestly... Very pleasant. It's a little light for my liking. There isn't a lot of heat or burn. It's just, it just kind of has that sweetness and then a little bit of that sourdough flavor with a little bit of smoke. Fifty. Um, I think it's actually only forty-five percent. I was gonna probably say forty-five to fifty if you if you're not getting any heat. Yeah, it's um forty-two point eight percent. Mm. So pretty mm. low proof, honestly, but a lot of the uh, uh, just the way that it works out, a lot of the Indian whiskeys are fairly low proof. Um, there's probably a few reasons for that. They're probably trying to get more product by deproofing it a little. Additionally, mm -hmm. scotches aren't like bourbons. Bourbons, when you age them because of the humidity in America, they tend to increase in proof because more of the water evaporates in America than in scotland more humid clients or yeah. scotches in other parts of the world oftentimes more alcohol evaporates than water which means mm. that it the proof goes down as you age with and sense. that's why scotches much more and things like that yeah wetter climb so you're saying they have more angels there yes Literally, their angels are always crying there. Oh, so they so they don't yeah. need... They worry more about the proof coming down than yeah. the... Um, and so this right here, super clear. Mm. This is the Finney, which I've never had. This is going to be the first time I've tried it. Yeah. What is... Ooh. Oh. Drum roll. Okay, that's weird. It, so... Oh. <laughs> that's weird. Is it clear? <laughs> It is clear. Yeah. It is clear. Drink it, Eric. Drink that shit. Don't stop Dude. smelling it. Just so, drink it. <laughs> well, I got to nose it because this is, it's, it's honestly such Wait, a Did you toss some of it smell. out? No, I didn't. What, okay. So what is it? <laughs> Swell it. Throw so it I'm Perfect. smelling almost a nutty type of um, funky fruit. It's got it like okay, a Okay. So you are getting it. fruit. Okay. It is a okay. fruit, but it's it's very nutty. 
Would you call the fruit funky? Like, maybe. I hate you, Aaron. But it is. Good lord. It is (laughs) super funky. Like, the funk almost has like a. Like a. It it smells almost like a moldy fruit type of deal. Ew. Ew. Yeah, What's, it, have we had weird. a funk like it before? No, like in anything nowhere that we've had? close. It's not even on the. It's like on such a different level of funk that it's it, 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 it's insane, right? Like okay. it, it almost smells as if you took a like a citrusy fruit, added a little bit of an acetone, and then let it mold over. Dude, I went to my liquor do store it. today. Oh, oh I... hold up. Stop talking, Anthony. <laughs> he's well, about it was to the do perfect it. time to talk because he was drinking. No, he's about to do it. I want to see his face. <laughs> so it doesn't... Weird. You didn't, it... even take a... so you didn't even take a full sip. That was my first one. Remember, you want to wet the palate, and then you, you it swirl out. it. And... Got it. Got it. Got it. Anthony, go ahead. I'm so sorry. For I asked the you. guy if there was any, anything from India in the store, and he was like, no. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you Exactly coming. like that. I'm bringing back exactly a lot of like stuff. That. I think I'll be able to bring, because I don't know if my parents, I think my parents are going to buy like two bottles, but I'm going to send like 10 bottles back with them. <laughs> oh, my God. And then Dude, we're we're just me a and bunch B will get mules. 10 bottles. Jesus. So th- this is really interesting. It. The smell is totally different than how it tastes. So when you taste it, it has an almost apple forward front flavor to it. It's not sweet apples though. It's kind of like a Granny Smith, like sour green apple type of flavor. It's crisp, oh, fuck's but like okay. it's not sweet. And then it goes into this totally different funk then what is on the smell eric are you, when you say the sour apple uh taste but without the sweet are you saying it's dry yeah and it's very dry okay. up front yeah okay. it's dry okay. okay and then afterwards okay. it tastes like um extremely over ripened oranges almost I don't know if I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll find out, I guess. Jesus. And then it has a floral note that kind okay. of like fills your mouth afterwards. Almost like um, like a light lilies or something like that. Like a, a, like a mm. honeysuckle type of, but the flower. And it fills you your mouth lilies? with that afterwards. Yeah. Like, you know those edible lilies that you sometimes get at like, uh, sushi restaurants or Asian restaurants, it's mm-hmm. very typical. Mm-hmm. It has that yeah. sort of, fl- like when you eat those, it has that sort of flavor that kind of just like stays in your mouth for a bit after you drink it. Mm, not lilacs, gotcha. though. Not sure. I, I don't know if they're lilacs or... It's not maybe. lilac and like gooseberry. No. Lilac and gooseberry. I- no, lilac it's, it's whatever the gooseberry. edible Asian flower is that oftentimes... But it is, it is lotus. very, yeah, it might be a lotus, but it is very different uh, than mm. anything I've ever had. Very unique. Is it a daily drinker there, Eric? Mm. No. <laughs> Not for me. I would Dude. actually make, say that this is far more akin to a... It's like a mix between the funk of a funky rum with in a gin form. It tastes oh. like a gin with rum funk, mm. but it doesn't taste like juniper gin. It just has those okay. floral, citrusy, Dry fruity it. notes, dry mm-hmm. notes from a gin. Take out the juniper, and instead of the juniper, add rum funk. Interesting. And it's not bad but it is unique it is definitely something that is 
it's not for, uh, this is not a, like a whiskey drinker would probably not drink this and be like, this is what I want. But if you're a gin drinker, mm -hmm. if you're a gin drinker and you want to try something truly unique, you might enjoy this. And here's the thing that I really think could be interesting. I think this would be great in some cocktails, like some gin yeah. cocktails. Take out the gin say. and put this in instead. And I bet you'd have a very interesting cocktail because it has a lot mm -hmm. of notes that are really nice. And the funk would be kind of uh, flattened a little bit in a cocktail. And so you wouldn't mm. get as much of that, like, weirdness to it. Weirdness. The smell is weird, though. Dobby. Man, the smell is... Dobby does not like the smell. The more I Dude. smell it, the more Speaking... it smells like a, a wet, dirty cloth. Where you were cleaning it, what like, are you doing? Like if you were, you know how it, sometimes you're cleaning dishes, and let's say it was like a fruity meal. This is this is it. This is where my head is at now. Picture a fruit salad with like yogurt and all of this stuff, and that's what you had for dinner. Then after dinner, you have the kids. You tell them to, hey, go clean clean this shit. And they go and they clean it and they rub <laughs> all of that fruity yogurty mess all over the um, the the washcloth. But then, because they're kids, they don't clean the washcloth. And then you wake up in the morning and you go into the kitchen and you're like, "Hey, what's that smell? It smells like a dirty washcloth." That washcloth is what this smells like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. The funniest, At all. the funniest part about this analogy is I know that Eric's never around kids like that. So he's just like... <laughs> he's, he's in another world, man. He just He's dipped off the deep end, man. Jesus. Oh my God. Okay, number. And it's weird. Two. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I was going to give it. I was thinking a two. Um, Eric's like, man, that's weird. <laughs> it's not... The thing is, it's not for me. I think in a cocktail, oh, it'd be interesting. Now, here's another interesting note. This is cashew apple. There are coconut finnies as well. So I'm going to try a coconut mm. finny as well while I'm here. And I'll probably bring Let's back. See how it goes. Uh, I'll probably try a different brand and see if it's better or worse. And then I'll probably do some research on which brands are really, really nice. And then I'll probably get one of each. So we'll be able to try it at Christmas, too. Nah. Uh, we'll have some. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was going to say Google cashew apple because those look weird as heck. But uh, that's just a cashew plant. It looks like a freaking upside. It looks like a mushroom. Yeah, a cashew yeah. apple. Coming off a tree. Very interesting. Legumes are fucking weird, man. <laughs> I'm so confused. Legumes are weird. Yeah, for sure. Oh shoot. shoot! It's my turn. Go Hold on. on, go for it. Hold on. So, Dude. um, this is what I've been sipping on since we started, actually. Uh, but it is the uh, Bardstown oh. uh, collaborative series, the the, the Goosehead uh, Goose. I, sorry, Goose Island um, oh. Barrel House Stout um, Traveler Blend. It is a cask strength bourbon but it does not taste like it it is at 50 percent alcohol level the oh that's cast what, strength at 50 percent uh, yeah what? i was like what <laughs> so you get a lot of the stout flavors off the top of this lots of vanilla off the top obviously you get some definite chocolate notes um what else do we got here? Let me look. Actually, you know what? I'm going to trust my nose. Here we go. Uh, you get some oak, obviously, because it's a freaking bourbon or whatever. <laughs> and um, you get you get a, the barest amount of malt in there as well. But other than that, pretty much just a, it's a chocolate bomb in, in bourbon form. It's really good. Um, it's super smooth. And the only thing that I wish is that it was hotter. Whoa. Okay. Would you uh, put it in hot chocolate? 
Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That would be that would. I mean, it wouldn't really add anything to the flavor, to be honest. It would just be like some, uh, an excuse to like blend two things that I like, which is hot chocolate and bourbon. Yeah. Um, but I will say, p- since I've had the four square, and I'm then I've now sampled the um, Goose Island. There is definitely a taste to Bardstown's uh, collaboration bourbons that I've noticed. Uh, I know that they have like a it's a blend of. I think it's five, six, and seven. Is it five, six, and seven? Oh, seven, four, and seven, six, and nine. What a weird spread. Seven, it's a seven, six, and nine uh, year um, bourbons blended, but I don't know what they're specifically blending with between all of these collaboration series. But I can. There's a there's a central vein of not so much like the overall flavor palettes but maybe it's the way that they've been collected that i'm like oh that's very bardstown so all of that to say fantastic bourbon it's a seven out of ten for me oh wow it's it's i don't drink it often because i don't even think i can get it anymore i'm not sure probably not those are usually yeah. limited run yeah, yeah uh, sometimes they bardstown, redo man. it mm. like there's the one my wife's hoping they redo yeah there's one that I hope they redo too. There's one that was made with my. They aged it in the barrels of my favorite the whiskey. Four Roses? No, nah, the, the Red Breast 20. Oh, the Red seven. Breast. Yeah. Mm, yeah, just the Origin series now. Oh, man. Dang, and I don't, I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about, oh, wait, no, the Goose Island is available right now for 150 at Total Wine right now. Is the, is the one you're drinking the Goose Island? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I heard it was pretty sweet. It is very sweet. Mm. It is very sweet. There is, no, there is no burn to this baby. It is yeah. smooth, smooth, smooth. Um, so, yeah. I like it. Um, it took me a while to kind of grow on it because or- originally, whenever I first tasted it, I was like, oh, this isn't like the Foursquare. I don't remember <gasps> like it being no. this like, I didn't remember Darn. it being this good. I didn't. I don't remember it being this smooth. Yeah. And I was looking for something a little bit hotter, but it is what it is. Um, fantastic. If you can get one, I would suggest getting one. They don't do these often. But uh, yeah, another one of our, I think, favorites on the podcast in terms of distillers distilleries it's yeah. this and free range for me to be honest yeah we like the bardstown bardstown right. does a really good job and we I like just, it's the, just uh, really hard to be, for all of us yeah it's just really hard for all of us to lock down one bottle of bardstown that we want we can actually sample yeah at the same time in a novel way Fair. but yeah that's what I, that's that's what we did well nice. that, oh um two week um catch up um last week we went to mexico city oh yeah that's right you were Uh, in mexico at the same time i came to india mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh it was fantastic guys um we should definitely go at some point in time what word to wise um if you go to mexico you might want to speak a little bit of spanish just you know just putting it out there no that's fair it's that that works up to a point, Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> like that is the one I've good thing Japan. about India yeah. is that S-O-C-K-S. almost everybody yeah. here learns English as their primary language. Essentially, wow. they just also Guys, know Hindi. <laughs> I stopped at a random place to go to the bathroom. It was like Lake Sonoya or something like that. I was like, oh, that's probably a nice area to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't the nicest area, uh, mm. but I go into the gas station and, um, I get to the back and I see a sign and I read the Spanish for no bathrooms. there over behind the counter before I noticed the English sign <laughs> for it. But yeah, it was, it was interesting. If I was hungry though, I, when I went in, there was like these three Mexican dudes that were about to go to the gas station, but didn't. And I was like, where are they going? I come back out. 
there was a little food trailer truck like Dude. in the back of the parking lot that they went to and i was like yeah that's probably really good that's always where the food is at follow follow the follow yeah. the do the follow the brown people man just yeah. do it stop stop going to the standard stuff inside of gas stations like gas station mm-hmm. food is good up to a point like i can understand if it's like attached or it's not even like spoken about on the on the uh billboard or anything but if you can find a trailer outside of a gas station where there's like a line if mm-hmm. there's a line in front of the trailer you need yeah. to join the line dude the only gas station food that gets a pass is hunt brothers I don't know what Hunt Brothers is. It's a new like pizza chain that it only costs like I think ten thousand dollars to join, and they bring you all the stuff, and they make like the bases and stuff like the dough and whatnot, and they bring mm-hmm. it to the shops to be like baked. It's as good as actually no, it might be better than like Papa John's and Domino's. Bro, you just put your highest tiered pizza. At Papa John's and Domino's. No, I, I, it's it's well, comparable to Papa John's and Domino's. What I'm saying it's, it's better than them. Yeah, I'm not okay. saying it's like, okay. oh my okay. god. I was it's like, still like, it's it's ten times better than Little Caesars. I didn't want to judge you like that, but at the same time, it was like with a man whose last name often gets confused for DiGiorno, you sure do have bad taste in pizza. No, <laughs> this is good. Now you're gonna have to try it. I know. I know. I know <laughs> when you're I here, know. you're gonna for beat sure. It. For sure. But yeah, um, Mexico City was dope. Uh, the food was insane. We went to uh, what was that? What was the name of that restaurant, babe? The the, the two star. Yeah, yeah. We went to Puyol, right? Two star Michelin, right? Yeah. Wow. Guys, they do food different. <laughs> hey, it's just different. I think it's I told you all about my Michelin star experience. It is by far the best. Well, now I've been to multiple Michelin stars and they weren't all as good. They're not all. They're not. They're not all, all equal. equal. But no. so Saki, in Orlando, best meal of my life by such a wide margin that it's not even funny. I've had some good food. Wait, so Saki, how many stars? stars? One star. How many stars? But here's the thing. Yeah, man. The oh. person sitting next to me had just, was, she was like, she lives a different life, is what she does. <laughs> she was telling me and B, she was like, oh, she's wearing like these jean, sh- jean shorts and like a uh, crop top with like, uh, th- like a loose shirt. And we're like, what is this girl doing at a Michelin star restaurant? She's a and food she critic. Was, Dude, she was literally uh, like, oh, yeah, me and uh, – actually, she just has a rich husband, her husband that was there. Uh, okay. They, um, okay. they were like, oh, yeah, we just flew in from New York just to try out some of the restaurants here. We just finished all of these Michelin three stars in New York. Oh, we shut went to like 10 up. Of, I was like, this is crazy. Shut up. <laughs> so she was actually like – we went to like 10 restaurants this week, all Michelin – Many of them three stars. This one is better than every single one we went to in New York. Wow. It's just different, guys. Yeah. and I feel like with with New York, you have to also accept that there's a lot of buzz that goes with having, like, those stars. And it sometimes sometimes the actual flavor of the food can suffer from the experience that they're trying to give you for a three star. Agreed. Did you ever watch Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I've seen it. Okay, well, they're, they're horrible kitchens yeah. that yeah. he goes to to fix. At least once, he goes to a Michelin star restaurant. Really? That subsequently loses its Michelin their star. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 yeah so, like, this... They're not bulletproof, yeah, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. it's not a bulletproof situ- situation, right? Because if you, just... if you go right after they get it, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, also, it, it's so, just random chance, too. So, like, there are a few Michelin star restaurants that have lost their stars. And essentially what happened is that they uh, – there are a few cases that I know of where they went kind of on a consistent basis. Because the way the Michelin stars work is they send people randomly over the course of a few weeks – and they have multiple people that go in to this restaurant and rate it based on a few different things. Experience, food quality, service, all these kinds of things. And for a few of them, they went on 
like a particular day or a particular shift where the same set of people were working for all of their reviewers. Mm. And those same set of people made the experience what it was. Yeah. Outside of those people, the experience the exist- it does not really exist. wasn't ter- like that good. Yeah. And yeah. so where normally they wouldn't have got a star, now they got a star. And then when they lose those people, they lose the, they lose the star. You know? Dude, that's or like when one of those things where it's... Place. The star should go to the people, not the establishment. So, like, we all used to be like, oh, my God, Blizzard's the best. Blizzard, we love Blizzard. It's like, mm-hmm. actually, it's the people that made Diablo like, 1 and 2. The people yeah. that made the original war warcraft and where are they oh well they're they're making path of exile now and it's like oh wow path man. of exile so good like, Dude, like, man path of exile 2 hold on hold on let oh. me finish let okay, me go, finish go, guys go, let me go. finish i went to a lucha libre match yeah it was so dope Dude, hell yeah. is that wrestling like with the mask yeah that's wrestling yes with it's the with the yes it's put with it on. the mask i'm not putting it on right Aww. now because i have a picture of me with it on i'll send it to the chat mm. but no it was fantastic Nice. I should just put it on. Okay. Sorry, I'm excited because it's snowing. Yeah, I feel like you have to put it on for the thumbnail, Nat. Anyway, so um, yeah, I got Luch- Anthony's the Lucha thumbnail. Libre match was insane. The food was incredible. The people were so nice. Nothing went wrong. It's like my favorite place, like next to Japan. Like the fact that it's so close to us and that the food is so good and the and the experience was so positive i have nothing but good things to say nice um then before that let's see oh no after that uh we flew back immediately did thanksgiving dinner and then uh got ready for the work week (laughs) like really like the week after so good times you want to know how dumb i am how dumb are you you go to Mexico City, and I assume you have to drive and go through the border. Anthony. I assume you had to go that way. I don't know why. I guess because I don't like flying either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Give me a second. It's like, wait, you can fly to Mexico? You don't have to. <laughs> yeah. That's hey, I, I would say that would be one where I'm like, do we have to fly? Or... Whoa! Oh! Nice. I want you in the ring. Let's go. The cream of the crop <laughs> always rises to the top. Now in Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I'm uh, sorry. Wait, you just told us that you need to know Spanish for your you, and, and I stand by it. <laughs> He's like that. That is anecdotal. He's like it was a struggle. That I'm. It was, it was a, a. It was a. It was a real struggle. If my wife did not spe- speak at least like somewhat decent mm-hmm. Spanish, I think we would have been. Oh yeah. Dude. In a bit of in a bit of a pickle. Dude, we ate Mexican tonight for the first time in like years because my wife hates Mexican food. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. She just won't eat it. She why. hates Mexican food. Yeah, I I doubt Weird. that. To be fair, I think, I she, I think she just hasn't had, had right she hasn't had the right Mexican food. I I would say I am also not a purveyor of Mexican food generally. Shut up, Eric. No, you're not. No, you're I. Not. You like you like meat. You like cheese. You like bread. You like Mexican food. I mean, <laughs> so there are some Mexican dishes that I like. Let me put it this way. I don't like traditional, or sorry, I don't like American Mexican restaurants very often. Okay, so I stand back by what I said. You yes. like Mexican food. I just don't <laughs> like most Mexican restaurants that I can go to. That's that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. We got to take you to Zochi. Zochi is gonna probably be the most authentic Mexican food that you can mm-hmm. have in Houston, at least. Really good. Okay. Uh, now I okay. I speaking of, speaking mm. of food, I yeah. sent y'all a link. Nat, in mm. Houston, there is a restaurant. We went to yes. it. It's called um, not the bread place. No, no, no. I sent it on our group. I don't know if y'all got the message. It's called Maharaja Bog. Oh yeah, it's the Mexican restaurant. Oh, sorry, no, the Indian pizza. No, 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 no. It is Tali. Now, 
Tali, Tali is very interesting in that it is all you can eat Indian food where they fill up your dishes and they just keep bringing oh, more. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. That, <laughs> that shit be That's fire. That be, we got to go when we're in Houston. We got to go. We got to okay. go. It was okay. so good. I have an important question for yeah. Eric. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Have you been able to work out? Yeah. So uh, the uh, essentially the way that all like Mumbai works at least is that everybody kind of lives in these communities <clears throat> and they're giant uh, condo building type of things. And each community oftentimes has like everything that they need to kind of survive in the community. It's like some people just stay in the community. You can order everything here. Delivery prices are like less than a dollar, by the way. So like you can deliver anything you want at home. You want something from Best Buy? You can pay somebody uh, like a few quarters and they'll go to Best Buy, grab it for you and then bring it to your house. Right. Porters is what you're saying. Yeah, Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there's a whole system for it. They'll do it at any time of the day. It doesn't matter when it is. Somebody will be there to deliver you stuff if you want it. We got something delivered at like 2 a.m. And they just brought all of this stuff. They were like, yeah, perfect. It was like 25 cents. Like just different lifestyle. Right. So a lot of people will live in these communities. Well, these community had a full gym. Uh, they, they do volleyball on Sundays. So I was able to play volleyball yesterday. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, you the played vo- the volleyball was weird. Uh, so they have the rules or the ball. No, that, no, the ball and the rules were, are pretty much universal. They pretty much play the same type of rules. The problem is they just got a new turf. So they're playing on this new turf, but the turf is net enclosed and the height of the net is also higher. So it's like a nine foot net instead of an eight foot net. And Jesus. The, 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 the turf netting is at like 12 feet. So there's only oh, so like in a box. three feet above the net. Of clearance. So if you pass too high, hits the net in the roof. If you set too high, hits the net in the roof. So it's very, uh, it turns into very much backyard ball where it's hitting the top and everything turns hectic once it hits the top because everybody's just trying to make something work. So, gotcha. Uh, well, um, Good times. But it was Good fun. Times. It was fun. We played for a few hours. And uh, the, um, but yeah, they have, a, they have a full gym. So I've worked out almost every day. And then the, right now, we're staying in a resort here in Goa. Mm-hmm. This resort mm-hmm. would probably cost you like six, seven, eight hundred a night in America or something like that for the same minute. And it's how much now? It's like 200 bucks a night. Shut up. Yeah. Wow. And we like Must- literally everything's like complimentary. They don't have like little paid snacks or anything like that. They have a restaurant here. Where you can, uh, they they hoist you up. It's caught Horison High Dining. They they hoist you up into the air and lo- lock you in like you're in a uh, um, in a roller coaster, and you just eat with your feet dangling. They have a whole restaurant on a crane. So it's like, Why? <laughs> like it's crazy. Lies, be different. Some white people be shit, different. Eric. Yeah, it's a white. No, people that's some white people. Apparently, shit. that's 100%. some Indian people shit. Nat. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. It's not for them. No, it's not for Nat's, them. Nat's like, we know who's going it's to this place. Them. We know who's going to this yeah. spot. The Eric, spot. Eric. You're telling me that they hoist you into the air they host and then you they the leave man. you there. Yeah. Eric, with, well, I, they we have need workers you to take a up picture. We need. We need you to take a picture of of the type of the people that are eating there. For sure. So that For we sure. Can know. It, it, For is, sure. Is it the white people? Uh, go ahead, Eric. People, <laughs> or is it something we don't even know about? Prove me right, Eric. Eric. That's He's like, going to take go a picture. Prove He's going to send it to us. Ahead. It's going to look like wrong. an episode go of ahead. Star Wars. He's going to have like aliens all over the place. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, like it, it's pretty Eating crazy. Slugs. It's it's pretty crazy. But they have Guys. they have like five pools. Guys. Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's dope. Guys. 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 Guys, how's the past two weeks? Guys, <laughs> past two weeks, we caught up. 
I gotta tell you the game I've been playing. Oh shoot! And you don't think, and it's not what you think it is. Okay. I, honestly, I don't know what to expect. I have, I, I have I, some things right? that I'm looking forward to, and that I've, am okay. sad that I'm not in America for. But yeah, I will give you a hint. It's on my phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Game Pokemon. Addict. It is Pokemon Pocket. I was right. Oh, you and my wife. it's the Dude. trading card game. But it, okay, okay. Dude, I am. Answer, sick. answer me this now, because I I saw it on the flight, and I actually thought about trying uh-huh. to play it, but it's just uh-huh. having an online connection and playing a game. It, it it just hasn't been as straightforward for the past two mm-hmm. weeks. So I'll probably try it later. It is the trading card game, but everything that I've read says that the rule sets are a little bit different like how different it is is it like do that you have all Simplistic. the cards you have okay so there are only three uh decks out right now well sorry not three decks there are three boosters that you can pull from right now there's pikachu there's charizard and there's mewtwo um and you can build certain decks that are now meta because the game has only been out for like I don't know, two months or whatever, and people have already decided, like, no, this, like, I can crush you with this. Um, but the idea is that the gener- it's not generationally locked. It goes from, like, first generation all the way to current generation, which I believe is ninth. Um, and d- depending on the deck that you pull, you have certain chances of pulling um, specific cards. So it's all it's it is literally like generational. Like Pikachu would be uh, red, Charizard would be blue, and Mewtwo would be yellow of the original Kanto um, uh, Pokemon games. So each one has specific Pokemon that you can pull, but you can always pull from any of the booster packs. Now, how they get you and how how this game got me? Yeah. When you pull, there are <laughs> there are Pokemon cards, right? Just standard, like the standard art. And then there are the immersive cards, where there is no border around, and it's a artistic representation of that Pokemon, right? Okay. And then there's the 3D, like, full immersive, where when you move it, it moves everything on the card as well. So it's like the full holographic experience. And I was like, okay, this is really nice. There's a, there's a specific card from Nido King where he's like, like laying in the dirt like this. And it's like in the, the area is just trash and it looks, I, I don't know what it is about the, the steam, but I was like, Oh, I need that. And it sparked a need in me that I did not know. I, I had from childhood of like doing a collection based game. So I played this game for a while and I didn't do the battles until later. And then I figured out, Oh, there's a lot of stall decks. There's a lot of, uh, blitz decks. There's a lot of like green style decks where it's just like, sorry, red style decks where you just like go, 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 go. And it's very reliant on what kind of cards that you have obviously so the battles not so much in terms of like being a big sell for me it's mostly for the art at this point Mm, but i I think as they come out with more cards it'll be more fun what it did do to me though is reveal to other friends that i have who are pokemon card collectors in the current in the current now and so now i have 50 dollars worth of cards coming to my house oh man (laughs) because because opening packs is a great little dopamine uh, Fun. uptick. Fun. Dopamine. And my friend if I, and my friend said, "Hey, all else fails, it could it's a hobby that can pay for itself because if you sell it online, you can pay for the packs based based off of what you do." So I was like, "Okay. If that's po- if it's actually possible, okay." But so we're going to go ahead. It and- is, but I would hesitate that, okay, here's one of the problems. So (laughs) I have a lot of Magic the Gathering cards. I've looked into and Mm -hmm. have sold a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards. What tends to be lost nowadays in translation of like, I want to sell said card 
if you want to get the good price for that card, you have to sell it yourself, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can't sell it to a store. You can't sell. Do you? Yeah, you can't, you can't do, do this stuff the, like that. It's not so, fast. And easy. So you have no. to essentially, and there's only really one site that you can sell easily to, and that's TCG Player. Every other site mm-hmm. it has downsides, in my opinion. The mm-hmm. problem is uh, twofold. One, shipping as a solo person. Uh, like and not as a business and not having the clout to it's, get the shipping it's down not cost effective you're yeah. you're you're like you're really not finding shipping that is less than two dollars and about 50 cents or two dollars and 75 cents it's just not actually right. possible and mm. if you put that into your price on tcg player you will never be listed above the people who are selling it for two dollars and 70 cents less because we're professionally doing yeah. it. Yeah. Because almost every big yeah. company does zero dollars for shipping cost on TCG player mm-hmm. and matches mm-hmm. the lowest cost. Yeah. So you can't sell for the same amount as the big guys. What does this mean? This oftentimes means you have to take a three dollar, four dollar hit on a yeah. card. Yeah. Which means that you can only sell cards that are above. And when I was doing the math, I didn't find it reasonable to sell any card that was worth less than about ten dollars as a solo person. Mm. If it's above ten dollars, can I tell you something, Eric? You'll make can a I few tell you bucks. Something, Eric? Yeah, go for it. Can I tell you something, Eric? Go for it. I'm not even looking. Like honestly, I'm not even looking at it for the resale value. I'm I'm hunting a whale. I like, and this is where this is all going. But the thing is, I you're am, looking like, for like a VX or something like that, right? And like, yeah, and, and let me land, let me land. Okay. Yeah, I understand yeah. how low those possibilities are. And I am, I am in no way a whale that could go ahead and dump hundreds of thousands of dollars on these cards, which I'm totally fine with. But what I will say is that in this time of my life, being able to collect something physically. And then also have something oh, to kind of look nice. forward to like every super month nice. or every month or every two months to be like, hey, I have $50 that I can spend for X amount of packs. I'm going to set aside time on the weekend to be able to just dump myself with dopamine and then have a good time afterward to go ahead and talk with it about talk with it with people who are also into it as well. Like I am in no way approaching this from like, oh, let me go ahead and get rich. I'm like. I have a card that I want. I've seen the art. I'm like, I'm going for that. If I ever get it tight, I'll find another whale. But for now, that's enough for me. Like the art in itself is enough for me to be like, I I enjoy this. It's it's all it's the most childlike hobby that I have gotten into recently since video games. I and I got say. into video games years ago. Yeah. If you're into that. I love yeah. for just the cool factor of collecting cards mm-hmm. and for a fun factor of playing it. I think one of the coolest card games recently is the Dragon Ball card game that came oh, out. Yeah. The cards are beautiful. You know, and on top of that. It's not the same, but okay. I'll this listen. is good I'll hear, timing. I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. I'll this is good timing out. before you talk about Dragon Ball Z, because you might change your mind here soon. Unfortunately, I apologize ahead of time, because I recently learned myself that Nintendo and the Pokemon Company are suing Pal World and Pocket Pair. Yeah, they are for patent infringement. Yeah, they are. They filed the patents after. The yep. release that was Power. crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, These, I, yeah, I, and so they're not gonna this. lose. And a, they're not gonna lose a system for catching characters in a virtual space with capture items. Mm. So scum throwing a net at a fish, mm-hmm. uh, an aiming system for deploying capture items. Okay, so no one can throw a net at a fish still, uh, and a system for writing characters. Okay, so no one can write a horse in their yeah. games anymore either 
but yeah, I mean, they they filed the patents after mm-hmm. the game was released. When's the when's they, the actual like uh court like uh do we know if uh Pal Worlds make creators are going to actually try and fight this or no? Um, it hasn't been s- settled. Uh, basically, Nintendo is trying to like make it such a low number cost wise that it's very expensive for pal world to fight it and if they don't fight it now they have set a legal precedent for nintendo to screw over other people yeah Yeah. and pokemon company i i don't see that going over well on any this is just in japan for Nintendo, no, but but I mean, like, but, if Nintendo, regardless, if they make this move forward, it sets precedent not just it. for not just for them. Well, yeah, they've done it, but in, in terms of like, if they take it to court and mm-hmm. try and go ahead and bully well, down yeah, we'll get Power this. World, so they they filed the suit eight months after Power World launched and filed the patents after Power World launched. Mm-hmm. The game that, um, what is it? The Power World, uh. Po- po- what are they called? Pocket Pair developed mm-hmm. and t- and released in 2020 is got the same exact stuff. Craftopia. It has the same surprised. exact mechanics. I'm they didn't surprised. sue that one. You know, and so there's it's like it got such a huge buzz. Yeah. They yeah. don't have the legal precedent for it cuz like you can't technically patent something that is already in use all over the place and common and stuff like that. And whatnot. Well, it's not, the it's only weird. the only downside to that is that from what I've read about it, and obviously I'm not a lawyer or know anything about the Japanese law system, but from what I have heard and read, there seems to be some they are defending the game. on whether or not like our understanding of it as Americans is, is different than the Japanese court system will find it because it seems like when I was reading Reddit posts and stuff like that, people were saying, Oh, but there are some cases that are similar where they've sided with the company and things like that in the Japanese legal system that is very different. So Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not like, that's, that's one where like, I mean, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know how the Japanese legal system or japan's legal yeah. system will view that um well this does say that power world is fighting it yeah yeah, yeah. they are like, definitely they fighting it. they they should fight they it. Should. Uh, and they kind of have to fight it because i definitely think that you regardless of how the legal system ends up viewing it if they can prevent the precedent that is important because yeah. How vague can you be and how you define a system for a game to then just sue a competitor game out of the market, right? It's it's a it's a wild overreach of power for Nintendo to think. Well, for, for to Nintendo to attempt this kind of reach. Like oh. because of how vague it is and because of the recent the recency of this coming up with Pal World. It's so obvious oh, yeah. why yeah. they're doing it. Yeah, it's they, so obvious. They want so to prevent for any game malicious... like this going forward. Yeah, so for Dude. them to maliciously like stop, like step on things like Temtem, because it would be also Temtem, like yep. Temtem just wasn't. But as Temtem big, wasn't popular there. enough. Yeah. But Temtem wasn't popular enough them. for them to go ahead and swing like this. But if yeah. they if this goes through, mm-hmm. then hey, Temtem has to go ahead easy. and reevaluate how. It'll well, hundred yeah. percent, because then it's like it, it, once we've already set the a legal for set, once, is, so the legal precedent is set. They don't e- they don't have to go to court again. They'll never make yeah. it to they a just public say, no, court. Stop. They'll yeah, they'll just be mm-hmm. like, oh look, we this is what will happen if you don't do it. Mm-hmm. Like, terrible. So I hope I know I hope really hope that uh, the creators of Power World win. Because that yeah. would be great. I would love to see Nintendo knock down a bag. Let this not be like me buying these cards is not a mark for me going ahead and supporting Nintendo in any way, shape, or form. I know that Game Freak gets paid strictly through Nintendo's like uh, feed. I'm sure that they do some stuff on the side, but mostly like all of their games are coming through Nintendo. So I would assume that most of their income comes through that subsidiary. But 
I have not been a Nintendo fan for a very long time. Like, I would even say, like, Agreed. what is it? The latest Zelda didn't even really do it for me. In it's terms been all of downhill like, since they gave up on the Wii U. <laughs> I don't know. Wii U. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Mm. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was over for them after the, the GameCube, I would say. Oh. Well, yeah. I, I was just thinking I think that, like... Uh, no, 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 no. After the 3DS Max. So I here's, the, here's the thing. the last time that I was, like, excited to have a Nintendo product. I think as a gamer, you could argue that. But as a market, Nintendo was has stayed relevant until after the... Um, after the Switch. The Switch is one of the best handheld consoles from a sales perspective <sighs> in the market yes. history. Yes. Like not even just like a thing. So like I'm but, I, but, I, I I agree with you. I'm just putting it out there. Okay. That okay, like from okay, a okay. market perspective, they have stayed relevant, especially because of the Switch. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, dude, we, what blew we my mind yeah. was that over the holiday weekend, my brother in law was talking about the switch and how like nothing like beats it in a certain way and he was like if a playstation vista or vita came out right now would, wouldn't you want that wouldn't you buy that and i was shocked for a second i was like the steam deck exists and he's like what's that i'm like oh my god the, and the, we immediately <laughs> grabbed mine and showed it to him and his mind was blown he yeah. was like but you're, you gotta you're remember to a completely you're, different market. you're talking from a gamer perspective and a consumer's yeah. perspective. Yeah. The, do you know where the Steam Deck is advertised? Only on Steam. You, you yeah. know what a... You, if you Anthony, don't have I'll Steam... Sir, you, you know, know what a 4090 is. Yeah. yeah. You know what a 4090 right. is. Yeah. 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 You were... Like, it's, and it's a completely crazy. different... Completely it's, different... It's just not the same. Uh, and existence. people can yeah. argue up and down Dude. of like... But the PC market is simply not as big as the gaming consumer market no. by a large. Do you know what market. Valve is missing? What's that? A All mascot? they need to do is a one round of marketing every new school year, and have a back to school like little like little kit is... where it's like this is what you take to college and take your notes on and stuff and then you it's your isn't... computer in the dorm room and stuff have... like that but isn't you, you see pirate legacy, software's man. thing though like steam what? isn't going to do anything because they don't market and they put no marketing budget out and guess what everybody at their company makes over a million dollars a year that's sick. Every engineer, every developer. So why everybody. would they change it? Why do they need yeah. to change it? They are making so much yeah. money. It's ungodly. And it's all because, well, part of the reason Distribution. is. Well, they, no, Distribution. No, 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 no. They, they don't market. They don't have to market. Word of mouth. Well, has they don't have to because they have, they literally are the library of games for PC games. Agreed. But because they don't market, people don't know about the Steam Deck. Like, it, it, like Anthony's brother-in-law oh, doesn't what understand mean. what the Steam Deck is because there's no marketing budget for Steam. They do not market, which means they don't pay money for advertisements on TV. Guess what? Most AAA companies, they spend more on advertising than they do or an equivalent amount as developing the game. That's how people figure out about these games. Nintendo spent more money into the advertisement of the Switch than they did developing the Switch. That's why Damn. it is the most household name for, like... A gaming console. Well, portable gaming console. Right? And so, they're not going to... Steam is not going to do that because why would they? They make enough money and everybody at their company makes bank because of it because now they're like, oh, we can just put that marketing budget into our systems, our people, and we don't yeah. need more money, right? I agree. I would also argue to say that there's never been a portable gaming console that has competed against Prime Nintendo since starting with, like, the Game Boy Advance. Wait, no, like, I'm not. I'm, talk, I'm not talking... Spe I'm not oh, sorry, talking the Steam Deck. I'm not talking spec-wise. You're I'm talking, talking like, about, popularity like, wise. popularity-wise? Popularity-wise? Yeah, like the, in terms of name, like recognition, there you're not you're not seeing kids walking around. Not, not everybody is walking around with a with a uh, PlayStation Vita or I'm, a PSP or anything like that. 
I'm going I'm to so, like... argue that in my opinion, the reason for that is that mobile gaming took that space. Oh, on the phone, you yes. mean? Like not so much on yes. like the not so much like Kids on a hardware device. Kids are playing Fortnite yeah, on I can their say phone, that. right? Yeah. And if yeah, if for sure if because of that view that I have of that, mobile gaming on a phone is bigger than any portable console that has ever existed and will ever exist going forward. It is Fair. the market. You if know, you're saying you want to make a portable game that people can take around, it's going to be mobile you're, supported. Your first idea, I'm not saying you have to, but your first idea should be, can I make that fun and enjoyable on a phone? Because if you can, that is the Go market. For it. It, it, like, I don't, you know, one thing to say, yeah. I don't think Genshin Impact is fun on the phone. It doesn't matter whether you I think, think it's, it's fun on the I think phone, it's though. stressful as hell. I think it <laughs> makes a, a, a billion plus dollars a year on the phone. Like, yeah. that's, you know, that's if the trick. I ever... Okay. If I was ever elected president of the Galactic Empire, I would ban <laughs> mobile games on the phone. First edict. First edict. None of you get a game. Pick up a console like a real person. Exactly. A real man. Yeah, no. Uh, no, like, not even a real man. A real person. A real person. <laughs> An existence. So, like, a real existence. It's interesting. It, like Mobile gaming definitely has just shifted to that. And so now... Have you been enjoying your Steam Deck? Yeah, the Steam Deck has been uh, uh, amazing. The Factorio experience is really nice. I um, there are a few other games that I have. How, however, uh, if we're if we're going into the gaming segment now, there are so many games that I We've want been to in play. The gaming segment for a bit there, bud. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just <laughs> saying that for comedic effect. Uh, the I want to play the new Stalker so badly, and it's not Steam Deck supported. Um, wait, wait, just because it's not verified doesn't mean it don't work. No, 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 no. It's like tons of things just don't work on. Oh, it doesn't work. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like people work, people yeah. in the Steam Deck no. section of the thing were like, yeah, just it, 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 like things aren't working yet. Like we need, we they were like, we need a community profile. We need the game to have some mm. different features. Like it's going to be a second before it's playable on the Steam Deck at all. Dude, when I started trying out enshrouded with my wife you immediately on the steam deck are like oh they are literally developing this simultaneously for steam deck like you can tell when you boot up a game like that and you're like it doesn't say it says nothing like yeah. there's no verification whatsoever you log in it's like this is this no this is already better than a lot of games on <laughs> unfortunate I, but i am so excited for path of exile 2 <laughs> Which is coming out in Bro. just a few days. And I think they're releasing at the same time be on the, the gamepad support, which will make the Steam Deck super nice. Um, that'll, be, oh, that'll be good on the Steam Deck for, nice. sure. Dude, for sure. Dude, so good. And the, the Path of Exile mm -hmm. 2 stuff, it's, it, it's literally just a giant F you to Blizzard. Everything, like, e every new feature make, they've come out with. How can you make this game with, free? Dude. Oh, it's, it's free, insane. isn't it? It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. There's literally that. no harm in just like putting some hours into Dude. it here and there to try it out. Dude, the gun mechanics are so satisfying. Mm. Like there's a shotgun like video where the guy Build. takes yeah. out a shotgun and there's like a horde of monsters and he's just like, and the whole thing just explodes. And you're like, oh, they, they have, they have that impact feel dude down pat they nailed it everything every everything feels weighty like yeah. nothing feels well, light well and then they like, redid the melee combat so it feels better they they redid the movement mm -hmm. so it feels better there are so many changes coming with path of exile to from graphics to um mechanics to entirely new builds being possible new items and of course they were like, oh, yeah, you know that 10-act campaign that takes you all the way to endgame that's, like, near perfect? Here's another one. And now you get to choose right after. which campaign you, you want to do. Uh, it's just now every Oops. league is going to have an original campaign league version and a new, cam uh, new campaign league version. So there's just so much stuff to do, 
so much content. And then not to con not to mention for the in-game bosses, they have a bunch of new in-game bosses that they're adding on top of the 40 that already exist in the game, right? So it's just what it's going to be nuts. The amount One thing of I do worry about the with these kinds of games. Yeah, the, it literally took it out of my mouth. Like the one worry I have for this is the con the, the amount of content cuz I've never played Path of Exile. And just looking at these menus, just like looking at character menus, I'm like this is a lot now, for me to it, go ahead and do it. Now I understand they're, they've they've been doing this for a bit and there's going to be a great like well, tutorial to go ahead no, and get no, no, no. into it. They redesigned the system. Choosing yeah, your I builds know. now is not mm -hmm. a... They have simplified it into a choice tree so that your decisions are on a micro scale if you want them to be. And so you only have to worry about this macro level building if you so choose. But now you can simply say, oh, I want select this select this select this and so they have they've streamlined that process because that was one of the issues mm -hmm. that they wanted to solve with path of exile 2 so they've redesigned how you interact with those systems now to streamline them and simplify them to smaller decisions and then for the people I mean, that want all the early. complexity early access starts friday yeah friday. if you buy the early access yeah, yeah. Uh, Robbie was offering me a key. I'm wondering if I should play. Dude. I yes. Guess. I don't know if I have the time, man. It's you free. I, yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's called free. Stop Sleeping. You can literally... But the thing is, you can just play it whenever you want. And, like, they're going to keep updating it. It, it, it. Like, Grinding Gear Games has, in my opinion, if Path of Exile 2 plays how it looks and everything like they've already showed off a lot of this it very yeah. much looks like they are going to end the war on the arpg market in a lot of ways by winning yeah <laughs> by winning well i just fuck? i just think blizzard dropped the ball on diablo 4 and so hard yeah so hard and while I have seen footage now, Diablo, just to give it credit where credit is due, the new expansion and the new systems in Diablo Far are an improvement, but wait, to even it's too little, too late. Wait, no, no, it's Diablo I, Four, it's Diablo Three. Sim I was Syndrome so again. unimpressed by the trailer that they released officially on YouTube that I commented on it and I was like, wait, like that was a good Diablo trailer, but like. Why would I come in and play the game? Like literally, I have seen nothing that looks new. Oh no no! I no, watched no. the trailer. There's nothing that it's looks mechanics. different. I'm it's not mechanics. saying that. I'm saying purely based on the technical mechanics that they've been changing mm -hmm. over the course since release. What their idea changes. was for release feels com more complete now. So like yeah. in game, how they're tweaking items how they're making like the progression work and feel those things look like they're in a much better place now. And so yeah. all that said, you know, it still is so far below what path of exile two looks like that. It's not even bro. You don't, like you know what's weird try. to me is that whole end game concept that everyone kind of obsesses about with games like world of Warcraft and Diablo games and, almost every game under the sun even like racing games they're like oh well what, what what's the repeat ability when i get to the Replay end ability yeah and and to me it's like well you get there and once you're done having fun you move on because there's the only games that come to mind that have infinite replayability are games like sea of thieves and star citizen and anything that's social sandbox mm -hmm. cuz the people make it endless there's no such thing as like an endless end game that is gonna ever be good mm -hmm. when it comes to just content yeah. rpg stuff, this is where really. wow rating mm -hmm. and stuff like that like once you beat the final it's boss the you keep so rating every week because of the people right yeah you don't do it for the gear at a certain point yeah after a you're certain point so you're just doing can... it to hang out with people and execute the the raid Right. 
with the mechanics. But so many people. Speaking of wow, are we done? No, no. I mean, I I plan to play when they are we do the next. Eric, I was. I know. I know what you're saying. I'm done playing by myself. Are we done? I'm done playing by myself. You're done playing by yourself. You don't ever text me to say, hey, let's get on and play some WoW. So, like, where, where are we going? I've been gone. Now. So, you know, I know we Eric. were playing World of Warcraft, <laughs> and then there was this little thing called Hurricane Helene. I don't care what and... your excuses are, Anthony. I'm not. It's, <laughs> are you kidding me? I had no power for two weeks. That's People fair. all around me died. <laughs> like, it kind of interrupted okay. the flow. I, I feel like it did. Sorry. I feel like... For now, we should reassess WoW, because I feel like we got this this expansion release kind of like fully completed. I feel like when they release the next big, you know, point one patch, like the point oh five patch and the point one patch. I don't know. We I I just feel like that's. I gotta see how it looks. Gotta see how it looks. Point two, we'll see how it looks. Point three, we'll see how it looks. I I I think if the point if the 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 sub patches the major patches uh, look as good and keep improving what they have built for this expansion, I think WoW is going to be in a great spot for the entirety of this expansion. If they I'm add stuff saying, and change it, it could be terrible. But I'm just saying, see? housing is not enough for me to stay on, guys. I know it's that a is big like a deal. Year oh, yeah. out. But I the housing, a, the I know housing is but one they've feature. Made it such a bi- Eric, they've made it such a big oh, 100%, deal, though. 100%. Like, and I'll tell like you why, why they did this. I'll tell you why. Because housing was a complicated thing for them to, to implement. They probably spent a ton of time on housing. We'll see what yeah. they actually give us. But regardless of, like, what it is. If housing, Eric, if housing is instanced, it was not complicated. I'm just saying, if housing is in the world, sure. It's if not housing gonna be is in in, that's going to be instant. Nation like in RuneScape, that's not complicated. That's easy shit for them. He, like you got to remember the engine that they're dealing with, though. Like it, it is not going to be. It, I am just saying they're hyping it up as much as they are because that is going to be. They are going to sacrifice other major features for the expansion release. For that. For that. Yeah. And the more they hype it up, the more that the general populace will be like, we're getting housing. That's a big thing. And they're, here's the thing. They, if they do it right, that will be a good enough reason. If they make it a collection thing where you're going out and hunting for different pieces in the world to make your house look good to do all this type of stuff, to get features, to... If they do it right, housing can be a major feature that it is okay that they sacrificed other things for housing. Not saying they will do it right. I'm just saying if they do it right. But if they I, my don't mind would do be it blown right, If they release a new zone, and in that new zone, it's like you've entered a game like in Shrouded or Valheim where everything is freaking malleable you can dig you can build you know that's not coming with the built with the freaking, everywhere in that with, zone. The, that's not, with the engine that they have you know that's, yeah, not coming. that's not. it was never the intention with that engine i think the best version of what we could get is uh is server housing i think that's the absolute best version that we could get where your server which only has about oh, what two thousand uh, like two thousand people on it and then of course they server mesh for you're constantly hopping to other servers for server uh for your server when you get a house it's in world Mm. and people can go in it and show it off and they have new housing sections of some of the like different main cities that they do and then you can go in purchase one of those spots and there's got to be like 2,000 spots, so a bunch of new small areas that are instanced per server, like, but it's a housing area in each of the main cities. So that's, that's what I would do. If I were developing and I was like a WoW developer, I'd be like, okay, 
every major city is getting a new business section, like housing section, like populist section. In those sections, there's there needs to be like 300-ish different houses. It's like a whole housing sector of the city. Mm. It's an instance. Bro. People can go into it, and all those houses are like public. And you can buy one of those slots, customize it, and people can like see your house, walk through different houses, like all that kind of stuff, see what you did. And that would be cool. And different houses, based on their price, have like different like levels and each main city has one so that there's well over 2000 houses. So the number of people that are on your main server and everybody on your server is somebody that's in your housing sector. So like those are people from your server that are using those houses type of deal. That we'll is, see. that would be really cool. We'll I don't see. know. I think that, I think that's the old way of doing it, and that if you don't have it to where people get to build their own layout, but you, it's like that's impossible to do for a while. It's too old. Like, like uh, the, you don't know their, that. No, you can agree with that that's engine. like cool to do, but with yeah. their engine, that's just impossible. It's just you impossible. don't know that's impossible. It's just you just grid things and stuff. It's not that bad. They would they would have to spend so much, and like they're just not going to do. It. Let me Supposedly let me put that they've way. been working on it's, it for like four years. It's not impossible. We'll I, that see. is not what they're doing. <laughs> I we'll I would see. put money on. It, but like but. the new world, the new world way of doing it is boring. It's yeah. it's not you. It, it's you get to decorate a building. You don't build your home. To be like, fair, that's to what most people want. Things. Most people want yeah. to be able to just decorate their own so. space. I don't think so. And show off their collection. I prefer to be like, yeah, I went to Tangle Stranglethorn Vale. I chopped down the trees See? and brought them back over to Agrimar and then set up my hut. I think that most people yeah. in life wish they could build their own house in real life. But it is so hard and so much work, it's never going to happen. So when you get to do that virtually and easily... It's so satisfying. Mm, I mean, I okay, agree. so Anthony, I I agree. I agree. I think that there is also going to be like there is there are games that that already do this because mm -hmm. they already have like a system based around the gathering of those materials and the building of those yeah. of those buildings. They also have think, a limited number of people. The problem yeah, with I, WoW I, is I that there's think, too many people. I don't. Right? I don't even think it's too many people. I think it's honestly also. I don't know how much more this engine can Dude, take. They're how doing do you... it in Bitcraft. Just saying. Yeah, I understand. No, I'm not saying that other systems can't do it. I'm saying that with current, with current WoW, with what they're doing right now, with what's loaded on our computers as of right now, unless they that... have some way of. That's why I think it would only work. In only the new area, the new zone. Even, Not it wouldn't retroactively work where you can go to frickin' the barons and chop down that one tree in the barons. Like, but how I, do you I deal with honestly, like what server do those how are those houses built on? Like how do you store I would which one they're built on with server mesh? Because right now would, when you yeah. walk through the new area, you are moving between 20 or 30 different servers as you go through right which houses are in that, which like, area this game like, should have this game should have reset to world of warcraft to like oh 100 percent past 100 like, expansions it should have it should have done that uh, <laughs> oh in, you like, mean like when they lowered the level cap <laughs> yeah yeah they they like, should have started over like the thing is is that the thing that made the original wow so special was the idea of the being novelty. able to go and journey through a world, get to this epic end game, complete this epic end game with a group of people, and you go from being a weak character to the person who saves Azeroth, right? Mm -hmm. That is really cool, and that took time. That time investment is what made it special. People oftentimes nowadays, they want quick games, quick releases, quick dopamine rushes, because no 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 it's not what people want people have always wanted and loved that sort of thing it's like saying that people that love watching a tv show don't like reading a really long book series 
Uh, people still love and want to read that really long book series. And TikTok has been around for hundreds of years. People have been TikToking things forever. It's not new. Short, attention spans aren't shortened. The general just... populace and money movement says otherwise, though. Like people no, buy no, dopamine just, it's just rush. Easier things. to make. No, no, gentlemen, it's just easier gentlemen, to make. Gentlemen, man. gentlemen, I have two more minutes before I have to start going to bed. No. Oh. Gentlemen, I love. We will. Love, we will discuss this more candor, next time. We yes. will discuss this. I started later, us late, but honestly, yeah. I gave you another hour. <laughs> hey, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Honestly, that is entirely fair. I saw where that debate was going, and I was like, mm -mm. "Oh, well, this stop is it!" Mm -mm. Stop it. Mm -mm. Yes. Mm -mm. So mm -mm. I don't know where I am uh, next Monday, honestly, but I might be able to do this again <laughs> next Monday. We'll see. Cool. I'll let y'all we'll know. See if we can make this if part. not, at well, the Monday at after one. that. For I'll sure. be back in uh, the States, the, States? At the Monday after that. So I'll, I'll 100%. Weeks. And then the Monday after that will be Christmas. We'll see what happens, but I'll be available for that one probably. And then the week after that, we'll all be together. So we're in it. There it is. With that said. We'll be together and they'll be sore. Yes. Yeah, okay. And then, then. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Goodbye. Peace. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. I got to do it through. Bye. Yes, now. I haven't pushed the button. Uh